went out for breakfast today with this guy. Oh. Yeah, you can see that. Um, Jose Maria wasn't up, and then Elliot, his ankles are broken, so you're going to come. So today we're cleaning the appliances, and Jose Maria's in the kitchen. Yes! Finally. Without a session. Without a session. session is because, in part, because Elliot's ankle is broken. But also because it's also some de it's also some devious plan of his. He paid some guy to not. <laughs> I have so, no idea what you're talking about. So what are you doing, Jose Maria? Service, Trey. I'm doing service. Any particular kind? Your favorite, perhaps? Um, you know, it's not my favorite. Uh, but cleaning the grill does evoke some some spiritual qualities, such as uh, patience, um, anger, wait, no, that's not one. Um, it's not, I'm cleaning the grill. <laughs> He's cleaning the griddle. I'm cleaning the griddle again. All right, gotta get back to it. It's pretty clean though. Yeah. It's looking real good. Uh, that's not a good shot, no one's gonna see it. This is uh, oil and charcoal, just for those viewers at home. Activated charcoal? <laughs> <laughs> Deep skin cleanser and all that. <laughs> yeah. So we just got a new youth here at Green Acre. Winston and I went and picked her up. And she, we can't get into Lucas because we need to reactivate this key. You're welcome. Does it work? Nope. <laughs> it doesn't work yet. Give it a bit. It will in like 10 minutes. Okay. Are you talking to your phone? Yes, I am. Why? I'm vlogging. Okay. So we all came to visit the graves of Louis and Louisa Gregory. And we're in a graveyard, so I probably shouldn't be filming. Huh? And we're in a graveyard, so I probably shouldn't. Huh? Hey, you want to film one of those promotional vids for... <laughs> let's, uh, let's not. <laughs> So, it's actually Louise Gregory, not Louisa. That's my bad. Sorry. Um, but we have now separated ways. There's an open mic in town somewhere that some people have gone to. And then there's also... Robert is giving doing a workshop on these, the... Advent Divine Justice, and what it says about the relationship between black and white people and the responsibilities they have. I'm not sure entirely. Someone's coming. And NAACP might be coming. And someone's being so kind as to give me a ride. So just finished my chiropractor appointment for today with Farida. <clears throat> Last time I get to go to her before I leave. And right now I'm just waiting on Winton to pick me up. And when I got here, there's someone else who had, who's finishing up their appointment. Then he left, got something, brought it back to give to her. And then was actually, it seemed like the direction he was going was offering me a ride because Winton, hasn't gotten here yet, and it looks like I'm just standing here. Um, he didn't explicitly offer me to say, there's Vincent. He asked if I had a ride, so don't know him, but it was cool. Winton's here now though, so gotta go. So I was chilling in rice for whatever reason, and then noticed it was about six o'clock, and decided I was gonna walk over to get something to eat. And as I'm walking by, I see Robert, I see Rob, Robert, the administrator is sitting in his office, and so I walk up to the window, and I'm about to do like a weird face and stand there, and then probably knock. So he turns around to see me because I don't want to wait that long. And as I'm walking up, he actually turns and sees me, and I'm already doing the face. So he like he jokes around a bit, and I actually go in and I talk to him. And I was at, finally able to talk a little bit about what 
like a sense of community, and he's into it, and uh, just my observations on that, and like a possibility for continuing the conversation at some other point, bringing in the friends of the operations manager who is more involved with change that would happen on campus, whereas the administrator is more of off-campus stuff, which I find to be kind of confusing, but that's just my understanding of terms as they exist. Administrator being focused off-campus and operations manager. Operations manager being on-campus, sure, but administrator being off is kind of confusing to me, but that's whatever and unimportant. Anyways, possible continuation of the conversation, hoping. Should be fun. Uh, so I was eating and forgot about Feast. And I'm now getting texts from both Jose Maria and Winton about how I'm not there. And if I'm coming, if I was forgotten, I'm like, no, nah, I forgot, so I gotta. Yeah, so I'm headed over there now. Gotta walk there. This is not that far, but yeah. Whoops, someone's here. They're not paying attention. Um, so it's the ninth day of his one. And okay, the US food truck is not leaving. Uh, the US food truck came in today and we're all off. But in case there's any food, we should probably go down and put it away. Plus, he wants to eat. Oh, wait, I'm in, I'm in your vlog, bro? Dude, you are so slow. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Shout out to uh, Trey's vlog fam. All, was it 20 people, whatever it is? Right. I'm pajamas right now because I just kind of woke up. Got my workout in though. So that's nice. And the used food truck is currently leaving, but hopefully the food's there at the bottom. But if not, I'm just going to be eating. What are you doing? Yeah, I can vlog while you vlog, right? Yeah. Vlog section? Except for Everything was where it already needed to be, so it wouldn't go bad. Now, I'm just, I just finished eating and doing some stuff on my phone. And now I'm just gonna walk up, and cause I still need to take a shower. And then I gotta wash some laundry, cause we leave in three days, two days, something like that. Need to get my clothes clean, need to get my bags packed, and then I'm out. At Winter Hill, going to the Temple Land because we haven't done that yet. And we leave in, was it two days? Three days? On the third day. Okay, call it a few days yeah. Yes, that's it. Got Winston, Julia, plus Emory in the back. I think it's a bit of a hike. So, heading back now from Temple Land. Pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> Not much there yet. One day, it would be nice. Kind of a small track though. Not too much, but kind of I made the comment as we we're heading up, like, did they want people to come? But eventually this will all be cleared out, so. So, decided we were gonna go and play tennis, cause Navi plays tennis, and we're, he's here, and we're here. So it should be fun. Yeah, that's what got me into this whole record. Played a little bit. I love it. Not like a lot. Heading over to Fellowship. Don't know if I'll be getting here. I want to just walk right now because I don't want to wait for a ride. Run it because I'm running a bit late. It starts at 6 and it's a little after. But everyone else is still here. So something smells fantastic though. My god, I don't know what that is. But. So, it was gone now, but as I was in the stairs, it was, it smelled fantastic. Sure, I might be able to get around with these guys. Uh, I just got out of the shower, though, because I like to wash the little bit of sweat I accumulated during ten playing tennis. Just get that stink out before I go to the most great festival. Started to walk over, saw that the door was open at uh, Eleanor's, went over to see if they need help. Ended up going over, waiting for that, to go over with them, and then we copped a ride with Winton, so after I turned down a ride from Navid. So I'm sweating now because the kids had me picking them up after the program ended. And now I'm walking back because everyone else went to the lighthouse, which 
it wasn't really my scene. That's something I wanted to do, so. I'm gonna walk back. Probably game a little bit before tomorrow. And yeah. Um, program though was interesting. Uh, not. We ate first, because it started at six, and then all sat down. It was like a guided meditation, and we were uh, going over the Tigris River to see Baha'u'llah in the Garden of Rizwan. It was essentially the prompt. And we were given flowers to place at Baha'u'llah's feet in the tent. It was nice, nice thought. It's gonna be a long day. It's about seven o'clock right now. A little bit after, seven o six. And today is the f first open house. There's one tomorrow. And today we got, we're working from like seven to 10. And she says, that's off from here, right? So we're in the middle of setting up and I'm currently helping Dom set up whatever he needs because I'm not really assigned to anything until the games truck gets here at 8.30 and then that's just unloading and setting stuff up and then after that I'm free to start cooking and then I'm on games. Then I'm in the kitchen, but right now I'm just kind of floating, seeing what he needs help with. I had a nice conversation with Dom for a bit because there was a lull in the setup. We got the bounce house right there. Games are being set up farther over. And yeah, um, people are starting to show up. I'm just getting ready to do whatever. People are walking in right now. So we'll see what happens. Try and climb in. I'm trying to find something to do to serve, to help out in some way. They're trying to climb in. What to do, what to do. So, so far, my phone was about to die, so I had to charge it and leave it. But I was tending to games with Alex. Didn't really do much. And then I had to leave that to go and help with bringing in drums. So I did because they're having a drumming workshop at 3.30, which is what time it is now. And I would love to be there. But I can't because I have to work in the kitchen to prepare dinner. Yay. So, uh, people are starting to arrive now. And Winston and I are getting ready to prep lunch and start making it because it's about that time. We got the grill out and the grill on my stick. What's going on? I'm ready to get cooking, man. Winston St. Tops. Oh, God. Say Ready? Um. <laughs> Try oh, we're so we're cooking as best as we can. We're low on food. And we got a bit of a line. Hi. It's going great though. Yeah. Food, we need food. Winton just gave a little speech. No, not anymore here. What was that speech, Winton? Hey, ma'am. Today's a good day. I don't have to actually interact with people, I just do it fleetingly. I'm cooking meat. I'm hanging out with a homie. It's a good day, baby. It's a good day. And he's getting paid. And I'm getting paid. Here with Alex. Uh, we just left Green Acre the first day of the open house. He got a little bit burnt. Mm -hmm. Oh, now that issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so now we're just going out for ice cream after the concert that was there. And hanging out with some people before we do it all again tomorrow at 7. I Except he there. won't be there. there. <laughs> he nor Shireen nor like Naveed or anyone who yeah, we had it's today. It's going to be a lot harder for all of you. Yep. <laughs> They're mean. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Second and last day of the open house. Heading down now because we're having breakfast at eight. And I believe I'm supposed to be making it at seven or something along those lines. 
we leave tomorrow. So I have some laundry I need to do, but I can't get into the laundry room. I went down and brought my clothes and then I couldn't get in. And I had to be down there. So I went, took my clothes back up. And I couldn't even get back into shop locker. So that was fun. And now I'm just heading down. I should have a meeting with Lorenza and Robert tonight. Hopefully at some point later today, this evening. But I'm not sure. Got some stuff I'd like to talk about and things, some suggestions and challenges to make. So because it was such a long time, such a long day yesterday, we have all we did was breakfast today, and we're technically off now. But the open house is applying to the children's class, and it's more centered around that today. So it should be interesting to see how that goes, if it goes at all. I mean, children's class is here, but the open house aspect should be interesting, if existent. There was an art project yesterday which Serene made me do. They're up here, that does not sound good. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Nothing happened. So it's yours? There's nothing to see here. Huh? Oh, this one? Yeah. No, I'm stealing it. I'm taking her with me. Mine's taller. Uh, mine's Peter. Just wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you wanna take that? <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Yeah. You know I know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Put together this morning. It's a bunch of planks from yesterday. She did too. About three o'clock, um, I had to leave the children's classes early, so because uh, the meeting I was going to have with Robert and Lorenzo was going to happen, it just ended at like two forty, or so so it was about two hours and forty minutes that we were just talking, learning a bit more about each other, and then ideas for growth that I had that they were having. Um, just a lot of communication going on. It was really nice. And so hopefully things will be better in the future for those who, for everyone who comes through, including participants who want, we'll be able to interact more with them and they'll get more current opinions um, things that are going well, and I'd like to see more of, and other stuff. But now I'm just walking up. Got some muffins, because I'm hungry, because <laughs> we didn't do lunch, and I didn't have much for breakfast. So, there's a chance there'll be, I, got, I still gotta do laundry, because I was locked out of both the laundry room this morning, and shop locker room, I tried to bring my clothes back up. So last I knew, they were just sitting in the hall next to the door outside. <laughs> so I'm going to put those in and start packing, possibly go and get, go out with everyone later today. We're going out to lunch, late lunch, early dinner. Guess what? What? It's gonna be May. Fine. <laughs> and I reject. I apologize. Oh wow, that's not that far. Oh, you. That's you. That's your job. Um. So we're going out for sushi and possibly walking, going to the beach, but it's raining, so maybe not. Or going on a trail walk, maybe not. I don't know what's gonna happen. Still have to do all my packing and all my washing and yeah. Should be a fun 24 hours. The youth's presence was requested over at Eleanor's house because reasons, I think to say goodbye. So, um, because we leave tomorrow. So I'm heading over there now and see what's up. 
I am fed up with this. Last night, dinner at Martha's. So, this is the last dinner, the last meal. The last meal, the last supper. You get the electric chair tomorrow. One day more. Nope. Now it's time for the worst part of this experience, at least for me. Packing. Oh, sorry, I see hey, three pounds going back. We're doing the job. Don't record me, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's 53. It's They're like, you're going to have job, two bags man. that are both 50. If one bag is 53 and the other is 35, you would think they'd be like, you know what? It's fine. It's okay. But they're like, no, move the three pounds from the fifty. No, I'm sure they're bag. fine with it. They just don't want to lose their job. Right, but like, anyway, no be carrying a bag and be like, wow, this one is, this one is three too, three too much. You know, like, you know. Yeah. Anyways, so we got, we're now at Logan Airport. I think this is it. Yeah. And he just had to move stuff around. If you didn't three catch pounds. that. Three pounds of stuff. Three whole pounds. My stuff was good. Because I weighed it. But. Yeah, I didn't get the opportunity. Yeah, because you didn't pack until this morning. <laughs> Neither did you. <laughs> I was packed. You packed last night. Yeah, I was good. It's the same thing. You packed at 3 a.m. I packed at 4 a.m. <laughs> no, I packed at 1. <laughs> like from 8 to 1 last night, yesterday. Full flight. And you're ready to take off. All the way in the back, because there's a mirror somewhere up ahead. So, three hours. So, that was a long flight. Full flight. All the way in the back. Um, when we were actually going from Bosch to Helen, we mentioned this airport. Yo, look at this thing. That's beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah, so right now we're at... Kansas City, Missouri. In Kansas City, Missouri at the airport. Yeah, I don't know. That's really confusing last time I was here too. Boarding now to Nobby. Well, Albuquerque. I think we're stopping in Dallas. What? On the plane, getting ready to depart. And the steward, flight attendant, whatever the word is, technically. Uh, had another conversation about hair. And then, yeah, it seems like a cool dude. <laughs> he, uh, he made a, yes, a comment on another airline. <laughs> With okay, folks, at this time we need... So, you know those videos that you see around on the internet of flight attendants just being awesome? The one that we have, he's one of those. We don't anticipate a change in cabin pressure, but should one occur, four oxygen masks will drop from each... So that flight attendant was awesome. Yeah. He was just like... Telling yeah. jokes as we were waiting to get off the plane. Yo, dude, that, <laughs> like, that, that guy. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> we're in Albuquerque. We got Ian and Layla. Hello. This is Layla. She's also in the 24 program. Hi. And leaves to Bosch when? Uh, tomorrow. Fun. Bye. <laughs> yeah, no. What's the plan? That's our first night, and Ian took us to this hotel with an interesting history. It used to be uh, an insane asylum. And I was no longer in this. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. We're back at the place where we were staying. We dropped Layla off at Layla's. And we were with these guys, who you can't see. And we're going to be playing some Super Smash Brothers. Original. 64. 64. So. Oh, you mean the monitor because of the RCA? Yeah. And it's 1245. So. so we just dropped Leila off at the airport. And now we gotta be in. I don't know what we're doing. What else we're, doing? we're going to uh, have a meeting about the Northern That's at four though. Yeah. And we're getting bur gas station burgers? We just had. <laughs> He's the one who said it, not me. And those are some good gas station burgers. Now we're in Gallup at his house. Someone. Someone. Meeting with 
Okay, Alan. Meeting with the ABM and... Facility board member, regional coordinator, um, other teacher or tutors that are getting ready to launch summer activities. Should be fun. I won't buy. We made it. We made it. We're home. We're home. Look at this sunset, dude. Do you have a view of this sunset? So my one worry is that the pollen's still around enough to give me problems. And if so, this is going to be discussing next couple of weeks. <laughs> Trey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real, okay? Trey, come on, man. <laughs> like, it ain't going to be pretty. Not that it's pretty now, Look but... It. The glow, though. Check the glow. Mm.